Hi guys, I have just got to play you this from Asim Malhotra because uh, this is really, really exciting. I am so happy that we have got people finally, finally speaking out about what's really happening. And thank God for people like Asim. I've got to play you this clip because, hang on, that's not the one. Let's move this thing out of the way. Hang on. I really want you to see this. This is this was out today. If you haven't seen it, it was on the BBC. Um, really excited. I am so excited that we're getting closer and closer to the truth coming out. This is just a small section. I'll put the whole thing down below in the comments. This was on the BBC today in the UK. And... Um, Things are hotting up. It's really exciting. Not exciting the news, but exciting that the truth is starting to come out in the mainstream media. Megan, the director of Centre of the Space Medicine Oxford, suggests that statin pills prescription. Let me just tell you how this started. He was being interviewed about statin pills and heart attacks. So he went into the interview and then came the bombshell. It hasn't reduced the pandemic, so it's unlikely to be a cause. But what is almost certainly, and I, if you allow me to say this, uh, Laguesa, what I, my own research has found, uh, and this is something that is probably a likely contributing factor, is that the COVID mRNA vaccines do carry a cardiovascular risk. And um, I've actually called for the suspension of this pending an inquiry because there's a lot of uncertainty at the moment about what's causing the excess death. Some of it will be ambulance delays. My own father was reported on BBC News in July, um, uh, late 2021. Uh, I was the first to actually highlight the ambulance delays because my own father suffered a cardiac arrest at home and the ambulance took 30 minutes. And when his post-mortem came out, he had very severe coronary artery disease, which is unexplainable. I then published in a peer-reviewed journal, they accepted my findings that the likely cause of his death was two doses of the Pfizer mRNA vaccine he had six months earlier. So can I, I just, think there's lots of, yeah, so I'm sorry, I just want to jump in on that point. So what you're saying in terms of the mRNA, link to cardiovascular uh, risk is that that yeah. is a proven it's been proven medically has it scientifically yeah yeah for the question so in medicine you know it's, in, in any research that we do it's very difficult to always be absolutely conclusive so we mm. go on like and there are lots of data now um the, the highest quality data is what we call randomized controlled trial evidence so there was a reanalysis in the journal vaccine published recently where they found that the original trials of Pfizer and Moderna with mRNA vaccines showed, and I just want to put this in absolute terms, because we don't want to scare people unnecessarily, mm. but the absolute risk of serious adverse events was at least one in 800. Okay. Uh, and, and a lot of those are cardiovascular. And then it will, you were more likely in those trials to suffer a serious adverse event than to be hospitalized All with right. COVID early on. And I think the vaccine has certainly helped people who are high risk, but now we should be reassured that Omicron and what's circulating is really no worse than the flu, and this is really time to pause the vaccine rollout and to really investigate this properly. OK, um, so I just want to clarify one one point here is that Go. is using statins a cheaper, less resistant... She doesn't know what to say. <laughs> ...to lowering the risk. Yeah, I think you've summed it up perfectly. So it doesn't mean statins don't have a role, but the absolute benefits are very marginal. Okay. And, and actually, therefore, I would say to patients, this is the benefit. But <laughs> if you could have ultra processed foods, if you engage in regular activity, and we need we need to help people do that as well. <laughs> oh my God, he slipped it in perfectly onto a BBC <laughs> onto a BBC program. Onto the news, he managed to slip it in perfectly. And there you have it. Well done, Nassim. Let me see if I can stop sharing. <laughs> there you have it. What an amazing man. Just like Dr. John Campbell in a way, they're, they're very cleverly sneaking it in. And he got that on the BBC News. There you go. Had to share that. That happened today. Well done, Nassim. Fantastic news. Mm -hmm.